Just wanted to make a little video on this Raspberry Pi uh, desktop project that I'm gonna be starting here. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It's a Geek Pi uh, set-top box for the Raspberry Pi. Um, and it, what it does is it takes the uh, mini HDMI and it turns them into two full-size HDMI and you keep your audio jack and the USB Type-C and then you also gain two additional five volt uh, or one additional five volt power like if you wanted to add a second fan um, and what this does is it plugs into the side of the Raspberry Pi board and it'll sit inside this case as you see where these line up here the Raspberry Pi will be over on this side plugged in um, and it kind of makes it have like a little, almost like a NUC size feel, like an Intel NUC size. Um, but it would sit in there and these are clear, but they, I haven't taken the protective, um, cover off yet. And now the thing that I'm going to be doing differently is, um, I have my little test. This is my little like test bench experiment Raspberry Pi. It's just a two gig Raspberry Pi 4. Um, that's what I messed around with, like learning to overclock and, um, like I installed, uh, Ubuntu, uh, Mate on here and I messed around with that, like using it as more of like a desktop type thing. So for this project, I ordered a Raspberry Pi for eight gigabyte. Um, and that's on the way. It hasn't gotten here yet, but I'll be putting that in this. And then instead of using this, um, You'd usually put these little heat sinks on the CPU and the VRMs and stuff like that. And then you'd put this fan that just sits over it. Instead of doing that, I also ordered the ice tower off of Amazon from Geek Pie. Um, and what I'm planning on doing is essentially using this how it should be. That's what it would be like with the regular fan just over the uh, CPU. What I'm planning on doing is cutting out or drummeling out some extra space around this so that this can then fit through here over the top uh, and bolt to the CPU so it'll have like active cooling, like an actual CPU cooler on top. Um, it will be sticking out a bit, uh, and it will, I will have to, you know, cut off a decent amount of this, but it will, I believe, give a better, better CPU performance, especially since I plan on overclocking, um, and it'll just be different. It'll look cool, you know, it's a little custom build, and then maybe I'll get, like, some decals or something to put on the clear acrylic so that it's not just clear. Um, and then, uh, I'll do that and then I'll probably make videos on me overclocking and then me also, um, installing Ubuntu Mate on that as well. This is Ubuntu Mate, um, 64, uh, bit, um, I just have it running on my little Raspberry Pi, uh, 2 gig and it runs quite well. Uh, I do run out of RAM, like 40% of the RAM is being used, so if I open, like, one or two chromium tabs it kind of slows down a bit but overall it's pretty good for like some light browsing and stuff like that but um yeah this will just be my little project that i have um and i figured i would share it with people because it's interesting and i haven't seen anyone do something like this yet uh the other thing that i did right off the bat is um this ice tower cooler the the cpu fan or the fan that comes on this um, it's RGB, but it's it like changes colors like red, green, blue, you know, all the time. Um, what I did is I swapped over the fan that would that came with the the Pi top uh, or the Pi box um, because that's just a static blue. So and they're the same size fan, the same size fan. Just this one happens to yeah, see, this one happens to change colors. And this one's just one static color. So I thought that that would be a bit more clean 
um, especially since I'm probably gonna have this sitting like up on my desk. I just want it to be one solid color. Um, that's like my sort of theme. Like I have my laptop coolers blue, my laptop keyboard lights up blue. Um, so I just wanted to stick with that one singular color. Um, and I'll try and document along the way as I like cut this out. I'll um, write down like how much like the measurements and stuff like that in case anyone wants to replicate it. And I'll also leave links in the description of uh, the uh, Geek Pie set top box, the ice tower cooler. Um, and then I also ordered a set of these uh, M2.5 screws because I can't use the um, stock screws that came with this simply because um, you get two small ones we well, get four small ones that go on the, the side the pie sits on and then you get two like end caps that cap off here which is fine but then these ones um screw all the way in and they go up to the top where you're supposed to put screws in however because i need the brake i need it to be cut in the middle so that i can fit the ice tower cooler in between that i had to order these so that i could utilize the half bit ones so I could just put like a smaller one in the middle and then um, put the ice tower cooler on and then screw on another one of these so that it would reach all the way up to the top and I could put the actual hold in place screw in. Um, so yeah, this is just my little Raspberry Pi project. Um, it's not meant to be like a workhorse, but I wanted to one, get the eight gig Raspberry Pi because it's, uh, I know that that is new and I'm actually interested to see how that performs. But then two, I also wanted to sort of do just an unconventional Raspberry Pi build. Um, like, so you could replicate this and use it as a desktop. Like I've been using this at uh, overclocked at two gigahertz for uh, about two weeks now and it hasn't, um, I haven't had any issues. Um, Ubuntu Mate is actually really, really nice to use. Uh, I've used it on the stock uh, Raspberry Pi OS. Um, and I'm, I have a few little like projects in mind with uh, Ubuntu itself and Linux itself and the Raspberry Pi in general uh, coming up, which I'll probably use this one for just because this is, um, this is one that I kind of tinker around with and I learned a lot with. Um, so I'll probably do a lot of learning and stuff like that with that one, um, including like installing OBS, um, being able to install Discord on here if you'd want that as well. Um, and yeah, um, so this is just like a quick little video. Sorry, I rambled on a lot, um, but I'll keep everyone updated. And when I do figure out the exact amounts that I need to take off for this to be able to fit in. Um, I will put that in, I'll do that in either a text file that you can download or I'll just leave it in the uh, description uh, in case anyone wants to copy that as well and copy this build. Um, but overall, I believe this will come out to, uh, let's see, this together was about 45 um, and the Raspberry Pi was 75 so it's about $120, um, which is not too bad. I mean, I know it's on the expensive side for Raspberry Pi, especially since the 2 gig one I got for, I think, $40 after tax. Um, so it is a bit on the expensive side. However, I want to prove that you could actually use this as a full-on desktop, you know, um, not just like light emails or like one or two Chrome tabs. I want to actually prove that you could, you know, um, reliably use an overclocked Raspberry Pi with uh, eight gigs of RAM, um, you know, as a full on desktop. Um, maybe not edit videos and stuff like that, but you could play it like emulate games and, you know, watch videos, use it as like a, possibly like a, TV box downstairs if you want. Um, so yeah, just quick little 
overview of what I plan on doing. Uh, the Raspberry Pi is in the mail, but that is delayed because of the current situation going on. Um, so that should be here within like a day or two. And uh, I'll make another video on that. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you are excited for this little project as am I.